BYD here with another video, guys. Love this vertical right here, guys. It's all about the compost spreader. I got one from this company called Ease Do. I, I, I'm just gonna be right up honest with you. It's not on Amazon saying that they sold out. All right, so, but the compost spreader is real good for spreading like compost, peat, moss, sand, um, topsoil, stuff like that in real bad areas. Right, guys, so I'll show you what's going on here. This area right here just has some pore to die. It struggles, all right? We're still coming out of dormancy. This up and down weather, it's harder for this stuff to get green, but it's on its way. Here we are in April. But if you see right here, this stuff is kind of worn out. And what that is, is the water from my driveway comes down here and it goes down the swell around the house, all right? So when it stops pushing it, the water settles there. Now we're out of the rainy season, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix this. They have the lawn aerated a little bit, guys, right there, so we're gonna fill these holes up. Did put my stress blend fertilizer down. Also, guys, it's a link above if you wanna click on that. Guys, if you're watching this in vertical, there's a little square down there, guys. If you click on that square rectangle, it'll open it up full screen, all right? So let me show you what we got. This thing was real easy. Just, it only came with a couple of things, like, little pin right there real easy instead of the the, the the hitches being on the front they're on the side all right that may be a good thing maybe a bad thing i don't know but it's not in the way right here all right so you, guys i don't easy. believe in making it all hard guys we just got some basic peak moss it says premium but we got this at all i say home depot and the way i'm gonna do it is i'm gonna mix Maybe just two parts, peat moss, uh, some soil conditioner, and one part sand. You got to figure out your own ratio, but normally it's a 2-1 ratio when you're mixing this stuff. All right. You have the bag. All right. All right, we got that. We're going to add some sand. I got this right here at... Uh, same place, Home Depot, guys. If you can, I like the masonry sand because the mason masonry sand doesn't wash out like clay sand. I'm gonna pull that in there. I'm gonna put a whole bag. All right. Last, we got a little soil conditioner. Here, I just I'm gonna do half the bag. Oh. All right. Let me show you something real quick. All right. Now that's the soil conditioner. A lot of people don't like putting this in here because it has these little pieces of mulch and stuff in here that peat moss is you know that's real fine that'll break up but this right here also helps keeping keeps the soil from washing off it's going to break down all right but a lot of people just don't like doing it if you put straight soil in here it's real moist and soft and a good good gully washer comes right here it's going to wash all this stuff away now I aerated those holes aerated the lawn and you see I got some holes in there, so some of that stuff is gonna fill in those spots also. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now is just, just mix this stuff up, man. And uh, mix it up the best way you can. Don't, don't come out here with just unnecessary stuff, guys. It's not gonna be mixed perfect sometimes, but just mix it up the best way you can. All the way around, get, get some of the peat moss and stuff in there. And uh, you wanna do it with your hands, that's fine. I, I don't I don't wanna do it with my hands. But let me mix this stuff up. Oh look. My fault. I thought that was a <laughs> that's a little stick. Guys, like I said, if you find little sticks and stuff in here, that stuff will break down. The key to it is just keep mowing your yard, guys. You'll mulch some of this this heavy debris up when you're doing it i would not bag my lawn if you're gonna cut over this mulch it so it'll stay there it may kind 
kind of blow around, but it'll stay in that spot. If you come by with a bagger and you got this peat moss, especially this peat moss, this peat moss is real, real light. That stuff is gonna get sucked up in the moor and well, in the bagger, and you don't want that. Guys, if that mix is good enough for you, it's time to move on to the next step. You can add more sand, do whatever you want, but it's time to move on to the next step. Before I go any further, guys, if this video has been informational and you truly learned something, guys, click that subscription button, ring that notification bell. Every time BYD uploads a video, you will be notified by YouTube. Some, some guys like the, the old school, before all these fancy things, we should just take the shovel and kind of swing it on here like this. All right, that works fine also, but the, the only problem is you can't get it even. Then you have to come back with a, a rake or something and kind of rake it and try to, to get it to, to even out. Now with this right here, you fill it up and it's gonna dispense it in an evenly man it's not going to be heavy on one side low on one side it's just going to be even throughout the yard and that's key to getting the moisture to stay in places where you have dry spots and stuff like that or you just have this is not bad soil it's just a lot of water hitting it but when you put it in here you'll see it spread evenly so let's go ahead and load so let's see what it looks like right there all right you simply guys just put it in here it's just that simple now, some people like to fill it all the way up. It's gonna kinda be up to you. But don't make it so heavy till you're not able to Once push it. Once you got around. that loaded up, I wanna show you this latches on the side. You see this right here? Go up like that. It's latched on that little hook. And latch you it down. get one of these. They do have adjustments for taller people and shorter people. If you put it on the first one, it's for the tall. If you put it on the second one, it's for the short. You just gotta line it up. And I'll let you see this. I'm gonna push it straight ahead and you'll see the stuff start to fall out. I'll do some slow motion to make it look pretty. But you just simply give it a push. And you can see it falling out. So I got some pretty even applications. The only thing I don't like about these things, guys, and it's, it's not all of them, it's where it latches up. You can see those lines right there, guys. But that's not gonna stop me, but you can see where it's missing a, a couple of spots. Now, the way to combat that is to come back over it, just make sure it's dropping in a different spot and you'll get an even application if you wanna make a second run. Guys, this is what I'm talking about, making two passes in the same area. See how nice and even that one is? We'll go over it with this one right here. Check it out. So now you see how even it is when you make two passes. about it and it help keep some of these bigger clumps like stuff that just won't break down and falling through the, through the crate so that way you won't have too many sticks or whatever you have on the lawn one thing i will tell you this you gotta make sure that this, these grass blades are poking up through that stuff now you don't want to bury it until all you see is dirt now the way i got it is just fine it's, it's gonna do what it's gonna have to do you can take your water hose, kind of wet it down. That'll help get some, wash some of that stuff down. But you don't want to leave this on here an extended amount of time without no rain, no hydration, and it's just sitting on top of the grass because it's going to kill it. Guys, you know I don't, I don't really like overseeding hybrid Bermuda grass. If it's some grass that you seeded before and it's growing, that's different. Hybrid Bermuda grass will spread by itself. If you do this to your lawn, it's going to spread by itself. Now, having said that, when you want to do it, 
this is what they're talking about see the soil contact you need to do this process right here guys if you can see that before you put those seeds down some of you guys are just throwing seeds down on dry ass grass uh, uh soil and it's it's not going to work all right the aeration and and this this little exercise right here it's gonna make that grass grow but you got to put down the right fertilizer starter fertilizer you got to water it you got to keep it moist it's a lot that goes into getting a bermuda grass to grow from seed than it is a fescue lawn answer a couple of questions can you put fertilizer on top of it yeah what happens if you have fertilizer up under it nothing's going to happen your fertilizer still work can you walk on it i personally say stay off of it until it starts to fall down into the grass because you'll start compacting it if you walk on it right there um remember it's not for sand guys you can put sand in the mix but don't get sand and just try to put it in to your um, compost spreader uh, what type of compost? Cheapest one you can get, the best one you can get. Um, don't do this before a rainstorm, guys, because it's going to wash it all away. I, like I said, I personally suggest you take a water hose and kind of wet it down to get some of this stuff to fall down. Okay, guys, hit me in the comment, guys. Tell me what you think about this product right here. What do you think about the compost spreading? Is that something that you would do? Because I'm going to start doing it, man. I, I ain't, I'm not going to lie. I had fun doing it, guys. You're tuning to Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.